Welcome to Sister Circle Live, and our hearts are heavy today as we mourn the tragic loss of nine lives in a deadly helicopter accident. Among them, a legend, Kobe Bean Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna. First and foremost, we want to send prayers out to all of the families of everyone who was on that helicopter yesterday. Mm -hmm. This news was really difficult to even process, not only because of the tra tragic nature of the accident, but also because of what we've lost in Kobe Bryant. Hailed as the Black Mamba by many, Kobe was larger than life, bigger than the game of basketball, and a man who made a lasting impact both on and off the court. He was a husband, father, and a son, a leader who held himself and those around him to a standard of excellence. And he learned the respect, or earned the respect and adoration of people around the globe, whether you were a fan of basketball or not. You can truly see what he meant to people as the tributes continue to pour out. But there's one thing that consistently is mentioned by those who knew him best. He was a family man. He leaves to mourn his loss, his wife, his daughters, and millions and millions of fans across the globe. But I also want to mention Orange Coast College baseball coach John Altabello, his wife and his daughter also passed away in this tragic accident. Uh, an, an assistant football coach, also an assistant basketball coach, also passed away in this uh, accident. A mother, a daughter, and a husband. Christina Mauser, which was the coach I just mentioned, assistant girls basketball coach, Sarah Chester, and her daughter, Peyton. The pilot, also Errol Zabayan. Ladies, what does Kobe Bryant's legacy mean to you? Or, you know, this is a moment where, as talk show hosts, you know, you have a responsibility, obviously, to try to bring people up. But we all feel what everyone else is feeling today. But your thoughts on his legacy, and what he meant to the world of basketball. I think for me, just seeing him come in uh, the NBA, you know, a 17 year old kid and be able to take the NBA by storm and literally own it uh, was just absolutely amazing. Yes. To give so much of himself for 20 years to a team and, and, and be winning, having that winning spirit consistently on and off the court is just huge for me. Yeah, absolutely. I know um, you, you were uh, directly impacted. Of course, your husband played against him, I'm sure. Um, Kiwan played yeah. against him. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, when I learned of this, the first, first, the first thing that came to mind was Vanessa Bryant. Yes, yeah. of course. Um, the devastation of losing, you know, when you're a basketball wife, you already give your family to the game. You know what I'm saying? So for him to retire, then you lose him and your daughter to the game again forever. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's like one of the first things that came to mind. But then I thought, you know, if anybody knows me personally, they know that from eight years old, basketball has been my first love. As a basketball player, and then going on to marrying a basketball player, becoming a basketball wife, and now a basketball mom. I'm at the game screaming my lungs out um, at KJ's basketball game. He's sitting up there in Kobe Bryant gym shoes. And I start to think of, and I get the news in a text message, and I start to think of the legacy um, of my baby being 12, still honoring this man, you know, that came into the league, I don't know, 20 years ago, you know what I'm saying, before he was even thought of. Just the, the extensive impact that he's had on the game of basketball and you know is just it, it it can't be it's unspoken and so for me i was devastated because this is the most tragic thing that has ever happened in the history of nba the only thing that could have ever come close to it was when michael jordan's father was murdered and that that even that doesn't even stand, hold a candle in, in a sense because this is the an actual icon taken from us and everything that he's done um, as a man, as a basketball player, as a father, what he's put into the WNBA, you know, how he has played a major impact, how he's had a major impact on the WNBA, just trained 10 women in the WNBA. He's trained um, 
Trey, Trey Young was um, affected by this greatly. Kawhi Leonard, I'm sure, is somewhere affected because he's still putting into the mm. industry, the basketball industry. He's still giving service. This is 20 years of service to the city of, I mean, the city of LA, to our, our country. I mean, our world. This man has is a gold medalist. I mean, it just goes. It's just very hard to ingest for me as a basketball fan and someone who eats, eats, sleeps, and breathes basketball. Like, I don't even have the proper I don't think any of us really words. Yeah, you know what I'm too. saying? To to even encompass the magnitude of what this man meant for the world, right, not right. just the game of basketball, but the world and how many children he is impacting right now. My son said to me, 12 years old, he goes, "Mommy, when I told him after the game, you know." Uh, that Kobe Bryant had passed away. He goes, Mommy, you know, Kobe says trends. He's, go he's a trendsetter. He said, every time you throw a paper, you throw a balled up paper in the garbage, it's Kobe. Kobe. Mm -hmm. He was like, <laughs> we're going to save that forever. He was like, Mama, I throw this shirt in the laundry. Kobe. Yeah. Then he comes to me and shows me on a football game. They were talking and commentating over the football video game, and the boy was like, one of the uh, guys threw a long pass, and the boy commentator was like, Kobe, in the football game. Right. So just the, the legacy and the cross-referencing of, of just an icon that's the same as a Serena, as a, as a Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? This man is an icon. Him being taken at 41 years old is just... Unbelievable. It's, it's Unbelievable. devastating to me. I'm, right. I don't know how... I'm, long is it's, and then just the families that were affected everybody else that was affected as well is is awful it's awful Trina I know that you um, and your sisters have a great picture with him as oh, well yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, this was like way back in 1997 when mm -hmm. he was still just a kid and we were still kids oh my god you're uh, all babies. this is when he, this is when uh, he was just like the, the brand new thing that was about to come to the NBA fresh in high school he's about to leave high school and you know how it is back in uh, back in the day with record companies and they yeah. would get like the newest artist mm -hmm. with, the, with the newest thing that's coming out and that's how that's how that took place yeah, there because yeah. Tamar was actually supposed to go to the prom with him wow and it ended up being Brandy mm -hmm. the same label I don't know how that works. But to make a long story short, one thing I love about him is that he wasn't too big to be a dad. Yeah. And the fact that he took the time, when his daughter said that she was interested in basketball, he was like, okay, that's yeah. our thing, baby. And he became a coach. He didn't just send her off you know, to, to any other, you know, basketball teams and let the coaches do it. He decided to be hands-on. And because he was such a hands-on person, a hands-on dad, you know, you don't hear anything negative about him. He was a true family man, even when it was time for his retirement. He said he wants to focus on his family and, you know, in a, in a time when dads are not very present mm -hmm. or very uh, orchestrated in their kids' lives, he decided to, to be that. Or at least not shown to be. Exactly, yeah. mm -hmm. exactly. And that's what I admire the most about him. Absolutely. Let's just take a moment to reflect on some of his accomplishments and achievements. A multifaceted guard who could score from anywhere at any time. Hmm. Kobe Bryant played 20 seasons, as mentioned, for the Los Angeles Lakers. He's ranked fourth on the NBA's all-time scoring list with LeBron James having just passed him the night before his death. And Kobe tweeted the last tweet Kobe sent out was to LeBron James and congratulating him on that. He won five NBA championships with a three-peat run sprinkled in that. Uh, that started in the 2000 season and wrapped in the 2002 season. The Black Mamba also earned finals MVP honors in 2009 and 2010. And those are just a few of his stats. But beyond the no numbers, what did Kobe Bryant mean to the game of basketball? As Selena mentioned, uh, the Hawks played the Wizards last night, and needless to say, it was quite emotional. There was a moment of silence, and Trey Young wore the number eight during the first few seconds of the game to salute Kobe, his mentor and favorite NBA player. At the Raptors Spurs game, both teams let the 24 second uh, shot clock just run in respect and honor to Kobe Bryant. Of course, he uh, wore the number 24. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he wore the number eight. Mm -hmm. um, of course, they did that until uh, the shot clock ran out, attempting a shot in the honor of the name Kobe wore for the back half of his career, as just mentioned. And even in tennis, players at the Australian Open paid tribute to the fallen star, including Coco Gauff, who wrote Mamba Mentality on hmm. her sneakers during Ooh, her doubles bet. match. Several NBA players posted statements on social media reflecting on the life and legacy of Kobe Bryant, including Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and so many more. I mean, um, LeBron James has yet to post anything, uh, but we have to, you have to give everybody the time, time to absolutely. breathe. This was, yeah. just think about, he had just 
surpassed his all-time scoring record the night before. And as I mentioned, he tweeted LeBron James. Mm -hmm. This was a man I'm sure LeBron looked up to and LeBron, forever. LeBron said, "I only the, all I want to do is make Kobe and Michael Jordan happy. Yes. Make them proud of me. Right. That, that was his statement. So, um, so imagine what that feels like to know the day after you break the record that he tweeted him and, and he, he gave you that. He gave you that. But I don't, I, you know, as, as, a, as a person who loves sports and a person who loved Kobe Bryant, I don't want his celebrity, which it will do, to outshadow, outshadow yeah. the lives that were lost as well. Yeah. yeah. There was a husband, wife, and a child family who passed in this as well. There was a wife, there was a mother and daughter as well. So we, while we love on Kobe Bryant and the entire Bryant family mm -hmm. with their loss of their sweet Gigi, please do not forget about these other babies, the other and these other children, and other family members who were lost right. as well. It's very difficult mm -hmm. for all of us. But let's not forget those people because their families are feeling just like we're feeling yeah, right. today. Mm -hmm. That's right. So as we pray for healing and understanding as we go into the big game weekend, don't let their names be lost in it as well. That's right.